The decimal system is great. The fact that we can represent the real numbers as decimals, decimal expansions, is really useful, but it has a huge flaw. And the flaw of this representation of real numbers is that there are real numbers that can, that can be represented in two different ways, using two different decimal expansions. So, for example, 1.000, so the number 1, can also be represented as 0 0.9999. So 0 point followed by infinitely many nines, that is exactly the same as the number one. So let's prove this fact. I will give you two different proofs. So here's one. Uh, let's prove that this number is the number one. We know how the decimal system works in that because it is a decimal system, if I multiply by 10, the period just moves one place over. So 10 times x is 9.9 .9 periodic. Now, if I subtract to 10x, I subtract the value of x, then what happens if I do the addition of these two decimals is that the decimal part goes away and I get 9 minus 0, I get 9. Since 10x minus x is 9x, what I get is 9x equals 9, and if I solve for x, I get that x equals 1. So 0 0.9 periodic is the number 1. Let me give you a second proof using a little bit of calculus. So we are going to prove that this number is number one, and uh, to do so, I'm going to use the decimal representation. What this actually means, it means that this is the number nine divided by 10 plus nine divided by 100 plus nine divided by 1,000, etc., which is an infinite series, is the series for n bigger or equal to one of nine divided by 10 to the n. Now, uh, this series, uh, I can take a common factor of 9 divided by 10, and it will be 9 divided by 10 times 1, times 1 over 10, times 1 over 10 cubed, 10 squared, and so on. And this series over here is a geometric series. A geometric series converges if the ratio is less than 1, which it is in this case, and if so, the sum of a geometric series is 1 over 1 minus the ratio. So x will be this, it will be 9 divided by 10 times the sum of the geometric series, which is this quantity, and if you simplify this quantity, this is 1 over 9 over 10, or that 9 over 10 times 10 over 9, which is 1. Therefore, x is 1.